Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today I'm answering a question that I received online and the question is, how does it feel to dive or slide on a major league field? Does it hurt? Does it feel better than diving on other fields? Uh, the email talked about how he sees players, major league players, right? They're diving, they're laying out all over the place all the time and no one ever seems to come up and you know, hurt themselves. And so I'm going to give you a little bit of insight into what it's like. Some of the things that I did to make sure that I was safe when I'm diving. I'm going to just give you a little bit of insight on what it's actually like to dive on some of the nicest fields uh, in the world. So the first thing, and I will say, there's a lot of things that go into it. this, okay? The first thing is there is some, you know, there's a lot of adrenaline. You've got big crowds, right? You're in the major leagues, okay? You're going to be playing in front of typically 25, 30, 35, 40,000 people screaming and yelling, okay? And so when that happens... You have some adrenaline going, right? You're going to be excited to play. It's not like you're out in your local uh, field with uh, six people in the stands. It's not the same as that. And so I would say most of the times in my career when I laid out, it might look like it hurts, right? I lay out, I get perfectly parallel to the ground. I come smashing down on the ground. Like I don't, very rarely do I ever remember getting up and be like, oh, that really hurt. Now, sometimes you wake up the next day and you're like, oh my God, my back, what that? Oh, that's right, I laid out there and I, I smashed into a wall or something like that. Um, but a lot of times when you're in game on the field, your adrenaline is pumping pretty good and you just don't, you don't feel it really, all right? Uh, in most cases. Now, I know outfielders sometimes a little bit different. You, you run full speed into a hard outfield wall, like that's a little bit different, but just diving, sliding on the field, on the grass or on the dirt, with your adrenaline really pumping, you never really feel much at all. The next thing is there is absolutely a difference between major league dirt and grass and any other league you play in, all right? Uh, college, minor leagues, you're going to get some nice fields without a doubt. I played in a lot of nice fields at both of those. You're also going to get some crappy fields, okay? But even the nicest field at those levels does not compare to a major league field. The worst field in the major leagues, like I didn't play at every major league park, um, but like even like Fenway Park, okay? Fenway Park, I know was the one time I was taking, when I, I got to the infield, I'm taking ground balls at Fenway and I was like, oh, this dirt isn't the same as San Diego's dirt or isn't the same as LA's dirt, right? It was, it felt different. Um, it wasn't as soft. It wasn't as nice. It was still unbelievable. Like if I had never been to Petco Park and Dodger Stadium, I'd probably think that was the greatest, I would think that was the greatest dirt in the history of baseball, okay? But um, so even the worst playing surfaces are still amazing. Now I got really spoiled because I played in San Diego, which the two nicest surfaces out of all the stadiums I played on were um, San Diego and LA. LA, LA might have been the best. San Diego was really, really close. The dirt, I remember I made my debut in Dodger Stadium. The dirt was immaculate. Like it just, it was the greatest dirt. I, I mean, I'd sleep on that dirt and be perfectly comfortable. You never, I felt like I was never going to get a bad hop. The grass is probably the greatest grass ever. Um, it's just, you know, they've got the beautiful weather all year round and it's just amazing. It's the nicest playing surface you'll ever see in your life. And so does that help? Absolutely, that helps when you're sliding or when you're diving, okay? In the minor leagues and in college, you know, I always I always slid in the bases feet first, um, but my left knee would get torn up a lot because the dirt in the minor leagues, especially later in the game when the dirt starts to dry out, right? In the first inning, in the minor leagues, they're going to wet the dirt. They're going to make it nice and soft for you. They're going to try to make it nice and soft for you. As the game goes on, the dirt gets dry. Some places you play, you play in Lancaster, California, where it's like windy the entire game. By, the, by late in the game, the dirt becomes kind of like concrete. That's going to really hurt when you slide on it or when you dive on it. And if you guys, if you guys play high school ball, just think about high school ball, how bad some of those some of that dirt is, right? You're probably used to tearing your knees up and tearing your arms up and your elbows up when you're diving in. Or, you know, in the outfield, diving and landing on a rock. <laughs> like, there's like, sometimes there's rocks in the outfield. So you're not getting that in the major leagues. The major leagues, like, well, you still get a little bit, you know, will your knees get cut up a little bit in the minor or in the major leagues? Uh, probably maybe a little because you're repeatedly sliding over and over and over and over again every single day. But 
it's really not not very bad at all. Now the other thing, and this was actually really important. I, I I did this in the minor leagues because, like I said, sometimes minor league fields get get harder. The dirt gets harder, especially later in the game, um, and some of the minor league fields aren't great. But I started to wear these knee pads on my knees, uh, and they were they were not you know they were not like Ninja Turtle. Uh, knee pads where you couldn't move they were like these thin things you slide them up over your leg and it would just be this little pad so if this was your knee cap right here the pad would come up and it would just rest like right here and you could still run perfectly fine but when you would slide um you wouldn't tear up your knee and again when i slide i would tuck my left leg under my right and that left knee sometimes would get beat up a little bit so i put a knee pad actually on both knees um it, but my, my left knee was the one that would really get beat up bad. Uh, and this really, really, really saved me. And I know, you've pro again, if you're a player, you've probably experienced this. I remember in high school, right? I'd slide, I'd tear my knee up. After I'd get home, I'd, I'd look at my knee. I, it'd be, I'd have a hole in my knee about this big, and it'd be bleeding all over the place. And I'd, I'd try to fix it up, and you know, I, I scab, I'd get a scab on it. And then the next game, I'd slide, and it ripped the scab off, and blood would be everywhere. Like That's common for younger baseball players. When I got older, right, and I, I found out about those knee pads, and I never even knew. When, when I first saw this, I remember this. I got to big league spring training, and I saw tons of players walking around the clubhouse with knee pads on, these knee pads. I'm like, what the hell is this, knee pads? I've like, never seen such a thing. And then I went to the clubhouse attendant. I was like, hey, can I get any of those knee pads? He's like, yeah, sure thing. He gave them to me. And what a world of difference those, those things make. And again, uh, not so much in the major leagues, although it still helps, but I took those babies back to the minor leagues with me and they really, really save your knees, okay? So knee pads are really important. The last thing is, do you get used to it a little bit? Like, yeah, you get used to it a little bit, sliding over and over again. Your knees uh, and your arms do end up, your skin gets a little bit tougher, uh, but still, like I said, I would still rip open those scabs every now and then before I got those knee pads. So I think the knee pads are, are, uh, are huge. This was a long time ago. I'm, I don't even, I use, Mc, they were McDavid uh, shin pads or knee pads. I don't know if they still make them. You can check them out online, see if they make them. But I would recommend looking into some type of pads for your knees if you cut your knees up a bunch. They were unbelievable. So that's really it. Those are the big differences between, you know, why are major league players able to do it and they don't seem like they get banged up as much versus when you're a little bit younger. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If I forgot anything, put it in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with all your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel on Patreon. We'd really, really appreciate it. That's all we have. We'll talk to you later.